Do you have any road trip songs that you play when you travel? When I was a teenager, we would make a mixtape of all of our favorite songs for vacation. Now, I'm a kid of the 80s, so they were songs like I Wear My Sunglasses at Night and Walk Like an Egyptian. Really meaningful songs like that. These days, we have Apple Music and Spotify, and they can make the playlists for us. Well, we're in day 13 of our 21 days of prayer, and we've been diving into the Psalms for this journey. And the psalm we're going to look at today, people literally sang when they were traveling to Jerusalem. This section of psalms starts in chapter 120 and it goes for 15 chapters. And perhaps you've never noticed this in your Bible, but it is labeled as the songs of ascent. And the reason they were called songs of ascent is because the Jewish people would literally sing them as they ascended to Jerusalem. Three times a year, they would travel to Jerusalem for festivals and feasts. And they would travel together and sing these songs. And even though when you look at a map, Jerusalem is in the south, they would always say that they were going up to Jerusalem because it was a higher elevation. You would ascend to Jerusalem. And these psalms were written for that journey. Here is the second song of ascent says this, I lift up my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. The character of God is that He will watch over you. Where does my help come from? It's not another government stimulus or another bailout. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those things, that they've helped us along the way. But we're reminded that our help comes from the Lord. He will watch over you. Today, read through Psalm 121 again and apply it to your life. As you're praying today, ask God to watch over you and ask God to watch over our church as well that He would be the provider for our church so that we can continue to meet the needs of those who are around us. Just know this, I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.